semua nasihat Mungkin Puan Mok Fadi So today I would like to discuss about the Issue related to HRM Which is the gender way gap is here So I would like to start this discussion To explain what is workplace discrimination Discrimination in the workplace is very common in Malaysia Discrimination can be toward an individual or group of people and discrimination in the workplace is usually against the nationality of the person, the color of their skin, who you know or even the gender. According to legislation, prohibition or discrimination under nations tested are limited to very specific refer on the industrial relation act 1967 section 51c provides that employers shall not discriminate against any person in regard to employment promotion and any condition of employment or working condition on the ground that he is or is not a member of official of a trade union prefer the article content in measure male employees generally make more money than female employees this is because last year the average measure male employee had a median salary of 2342 ringgit a month while women made 2227 ringgit according to the statistic department DOSM Salary and wages survey report measured in 2018. The secondly is the gender weight cap is not due to lack of ability of the part of women. And the lastly, when compared to many other categories for which data is available, such as those in Europe, the gender weight cap in measure is in fact relatively Implicitness is a less covered form of gender discrimination that occurs in the form of stereotypes about male and female role. Revaluing female employees' work of capabilities or any other expression of gender based prejudice. Next, we can refer about the glass ceiling still as it for many women. Common act of self discrimination in the workplace is seen in women employment opportunities. This limitation of women employment is referred to as a glass ceiling. This self discrimination against women come in this form, like refusing to promote a fully qualified employee because she a woman, disparate treatment when when it comes to socio business relation like men going coughing with client client lying off female employee because they are pregnant or planning on getting pregnant this is based on the gender discrimination uh, for example organization uh, bias that frequent qualified women from advancing upward in their organization into management level position. Lastly, the types of workplace discrimination is compensation discrimination. So, refer on this slide, there are many factors of workplace discrimination. The first is gender factor. When paying a salary to men and women of the same qualification, responsibility, skill level, and position, employers are forbidden to describe discriminate on the basis of gender. Also, business, business are forbidden from lowering of gender salary in order to disguise pay between men and women. The second factor is pregnancy. Pregnancy based uh, discrimination is illegal. Employers are required to handle pregnancy in the same way that they will handle a temporary illness or other non permanent condition that will Necessary special consideration. Job seekers have the same right as employees, and both are protected by the Pregnancy Discrimination Act PDA passed in 1978.
next the factor of workplace discrimination is occupation refer on the as this article men and women tend to act in different occupation and women dominated occupation many of this are caring profession such as teaching and nursing are often underpaid unfortunately caring profession are underpaid not because it is less productive but partly because our society undervalue care work and the lastly the factor is certification more women are enrolled in university compared to men a recently released world bank report is breaking very to work better opportunities for women in Malaysia from the on average women have greater educational attainment and shown more at learning there are many effects of workplace discrimination Firstly, the effect is decreased employee productivity. When employee is dis discriminated against, she often feels helpless and may suddenly lack interest in job responsibility, career advancement, or the company welfare. Next, it's just about job and tension between the predator of the discrimination. Besides, the effect is company finances. If an employee reason to escape discrimination, new employee will have to be hired and trained. Hiring new employee is also a stream of the company budget because advertising the position, administrating an interview, educating and training employees or policy and technology can be time consuming and expensive. This costs the company money and can lead to an unnecessary strain on the financial resource. New news of workplace discrimination tend to spread quickly. This is also can hurt the company reputation and lead to backlashes with customers losing their loyalty to the company. So the lastly about the recommendation and based on this article, firstly, employers should review their performance of style criteria to position uh, gender by bias and ensure that these criteria are fair. And also, firm must challenge gender stereotypes and expand the range of career options available to women and girls, and also remove very that hinder women and girl from facing career in traditionally male dominant field. Next, the government should also introduce a provision on equal pay for work of equal value in the Employment Act. And the lastly, companies are required to report the average weight of men and women employees. The profession of women and men employees in different salary bracket and the profession of men and women employees who receive bonus. Based on the article, my recommendation is review salary and standards IP. Human result department must need to play their role efficiently by frequently review salary for parity between gender and race. When requesting set the pay range of red on years, explain with some leeway for special adjustment not on how well the candidate negotiated their last pay package. And secondly, HRM must ensure by active encouraging women to progress. Make sure that female employees are applying for promotion for and asking for pay rises based on their qualification and ability. And besides this, employee must remove the gender pay gap and be transparent about it. The gender pay gap is only upheld by the common corporate culture of secrecy. A new culture of transparency needs to be introduced that ensure that men and women are openly compensated equally for performing the same work.
beyond equal pay for equal work and lastly firm must train their man manager firm shall make sure to provide their management team with true training on gender equity that's all thank you